What's up guys? NBA talk with the last video of the night. Um the Utah Jazz defeat the LA Clippers 105 to 98 defending home court. Um tying the series up 2 to 2. They're going to go go on the road now to face LA in their home which is absolutely fantastic because the Utah Jazz has proven that they can beat them at home. Seeing that the Clippers are now handicapped because of Blake Griffin being out with a toe injury, I believe. He's out for the playoffs. He's gone. The Clipper curse continues. And the U Utah Jazz get their big man. Ru uh, Ruby Rudy Gobert, I believe that's his name. The big guy, the center, probably the best defensive player of the year. Uh, for a big man, I would say at least. He's the best defensive guy. He showed up tonight big time. Joe Johnson showed up big time tonight. Uh, Derek Favors did some good things. Um, George Hill did some good things. Um, unfortunately, they had to sacrifice a superstar. Um, Gordon Hayward, I believe that's the guy, went out. I think in the first quarter, uh, due to food poisoning, I think that's the recalling it. He went out the court, did not come back. He only played for nine minutes. So we don't know the extent of how long the food poisoning is going to be for him. Hopefully, it's going to be short. Because if not, th there might be a problem. Because they definitely need, they need his scoring. They definitely need him scoring. For this team, because coming from a guy, um, Joe Johnson, Derek Favors, Ronnie Hood, who usually posts up 14 points per game, they're going to need Hayward to be that it factor, someone who could you could give it to for the clutch in close moments. So hopefully Hayward comes back. Unfortunately for the Clippers, their guy Blake Griffin is not coming back. Chris Paul is going to have a whole lot of load on him again. A whole bunch of loads on him. Um, even though J uh, Jamal Crawford got off, Raymond Felton did some good things. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, let's get into the stats. Um Let's look at um, Boris Dilau. He only played for 10 minutes. Uh, Rudy Gobert had 15 points, 13 rebounds, and 2 block shots. Uh, George Hill with 13 points. 8 points from Ingles, who he has done a very good job filling in the starting lineup. Uh, he also picked up 11 assists and 6 rebounds, 2 steals, and a block shot tonight. That's absolutely grateful. Absolutely resourceful. Great asset for this team. Um, off the bench, you have Derek Favors with 17 points, 6 rebounds, and 2 steals. Being a big man coming off the bench. Joe Johnson dropping 28 points to lead the team. 5 rebounds, 5 assists as well. And then you have Ronnie Hood with 18 points off the bench as well. 3 for 5 for the 3-point range. That's some deadly stuff. That's a couple of guys coming off. 54% um, for the field. 45% for the three-point range. 42 rebounds. 24 assists. Three block shots. Seven steals. And 12 turnovers for them. So they didn't, they didn't make so much mistakes as the um, Clippers did. Well, I'll say they're even match when it comes to turnovers. Um, so that's, that's, that's it for the Utah Jazz. Um, the Clippers, yeah, Chris Paul going off 27 points, nine rebounds, 12 assists. He has to carry a whole load again on his back. JJ Redick is still to show up 12 points, three out of 11 shooting. That's not good. Uh, Marquis Spades filling in for Blake Griffin, five points, four rebounds in 21 minutes. DeAndre Jordan with 12 points and 10 rebounds tonight. Molly Moot with 5 points, 5 rebounds and 3 steals. 
Then off the bench, you have uh, Jamal Crawford dropping 25 points. That's a big deal. 5 for 7 for the 3-point range. Raymond, uh, yeah, Raymond Felton with 11 points and 3 steals. So a good, decent amount of production from the individuals who did a great job. So great job for the people who showed up. But unfortunately, not everybody showed up, basically. Uh, like They have Paul Pierce. I would think that he will be a deciding factor coming into the clutch. Have him in there. But he, he, he his legs are chopped. His his whole body is completely stooled. Like he can't come back. This is his end. All he could do is be a body on the court. That seems to be it. Because he only took one shot tonight. So that's it. For this um, day, uh, Utah Jazz tied the series up. They're going to go to game five. Game five in the LA. So that's it for us. Peace.